So here's one of my juices. I only did um pineapple and cucumber. I made two of these, two 32 ounces. But I gotta lay down because now I'm really tired. But anyway, it's really good. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's your girl Miss Natural Shay. Welcome or welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing about 90% good. I, I feel great. Actually, I was sick. All last week, I was sick. But, um, I'm still stuffy. As y'all probably can tell by listening to my voice. It's all up in here and it's a lot of mucus going on and all that, but... <laughs> We're not here to talk about all that. I just feel the need that I need to, you know, talk to y'all. I wanted to talk to y'all while I was driving, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to listen to my boy, Raheem Devon. Mm. I love his music. And I just wanted to vibe out. This is my first day out, y'all. First day out. I ain't been out. <laughs> I stayed home and start, okay, just, just a little bit of what happened last week. Monday, I noticed around like um around like the afternoon to evening time something went right with my body i was like oh my goodness i think i'm getting sick but i didn't want to say it out loud so i really didn't i was talking to my friend and i was like i don't feel so good but i brushed it off that night when i woke up on tuesday I was really contemplating on whether I should go to work or not. I was like, should I or shouldn't I? I didn't really want to take a sick day because I didn't feel that bad, but I knew something went right. My eyelids, I can always tell it in my eyelids. Like, seriously, my eyelids, they just went right. They were feeling very warm, a warm sensation. And every time that happens, that's when I get sick. Like that's the that's the symptom for me knowing that girl you sick. So anyway, so instead of being listening to my body, I went to work. Went to work. Was there for a few hours. My coworker was like, "Girl, you I know something ain't right. You don't look right. You don't sound right." While I was talking on the phone to people, she could hear that someone right. And so I was like, I don't feel that great. I'm laying back on the, on the chair. I'm like, I don't feel good. She was like, girl, just go home. Get some rest, you know. Um, so I was on my way home. And um, I was going to stop and get some warm hot soup. Well, hot soup. But the place I wanted to get it from wasn't open. So I didn't get any soup. I just went home. And I took a nap. No, I actually took a nap on Monday. Tuesday, I just, you know, went home, um, talked to my fam, and I just was like, I don't feel that great. And that was how it all started. So Wednesday, I, I called out. I was like, I can't, I can't come in. I'm sick. Thursday, didn't come in. I'm sick. Friday. No, it's not going to work out because first of all, I talk on the phone to people all the time. So for me to talk on the phone to people while I'm sick is not a good thing. I mean, I've been sick and had to come into work because there were down people. I mean, short, like there was nobody there and it was like, hey, I know you don't feel good, but can you come in? And those times I came in like this time I was like, no, I'm not coming in. First of all, People be just around and they just be sick. Like all up in your office, all sick, um, coughing, snotting, all that stuff. And they don't think about you at all. I'm thinking about people. Like I don't want y'all around me. I even like basically stayed away from my family at home. And it was hard because I love interacting with my great nephew. He's only a year old. He'll be two um, in a few months. But it was hard to not be around them like I wanted to, you know, I just, I came out when it was time for me to eat something, fix something to eat, 
go to the bathroom and that was it they didn't see me no more because i stayed in the room and just you know was get, working on getting better i didn't take any kind of medications i just wanted to see how my body did if i just um did everything uh basically like to heal my body without taking medications the only thing i did was use vicks vapor rub all up on my nose on my chest all that good stuff but other than that um i used gin i made ginger root tea like fresh ginger root tea i already had some organic ginger i had some organic lemons and i had some honey so i used that concoction to make me a tea and i actually need it now because honey this nostril is whoo it's yeah but anyway i didn't really want to go off like all into you know me getting sick and all and what happened and all but yesterday was the best i have felt all week long um saturday was a good day for me as well but of course that yesterday was like the best of the best um but anyway i know i gotta blow my nose i went through <laughs> three boxes of tissue two full boxes of tissue it was a hundred and some <laughs> tissues in there and i just <laughs> i couldn't stop blowing my nose when i tell you the mucus was coming out of my nose was <clears throat> coming out of my throat um even while i was pooping sometimes i would have a little bit of mucus and i've seen that before um as well like since i've been trying to eat like a whole lot better and um that's just how it went that's just how it went so i sipped i drank a lot of hot tea that was um and i will forever make like tea bags no i need the fresh ginger all you do is put it in a pot of water and you just um uh cook it basically and then like you can do it for like 10 15 sometimes i even did it for 20 minutes and a lot of the water fell out came out but i just put more water in um so i cut up fresh ginger put it in a pot and got it hot nice and boily boiling and then i would go ahead take it out put it in my glass jar and i would add my fresh lemon oh my gosh when i tell you this thing was good and some honey up in there yeah it was a good time it was a good time so i don't want no more uh of course i'm gonna use the tea bags that i have <laughs> Now, because I do have lemon ginger from um, Bigelow or whoever makes it. Uh, but I don't want, uh, I need that fresh. Ain't nothing like the fresh. But I know that ginger aids with a lot of stuff for your body. Um, I believe like inflammation, um, all kinds of stuff. It's a good, good remedy for a lot of things. And um, so basically I went the holistic way, which I've been very much enjoying. Um, goodness, I'm very much enjoying uh, learning about different things, like how to heal our bodies from different things and all that great stuff. I've been watching Dr. Bobby Price and I know a lot of people, if I say Dr. Bobby Price name, he is well known, like well known across um, all the social medias like Instagram and of course YouTube and all that great stuff but um so if y'all don't know Dr. Bobby Price just look him up and and do your own research but um <clears throat> he was a pharmacist and he changed over to um being a holistic doctor and it's all about healing, healing our people, you know? And it's just so much that we are not, um, that we're not uh, taught, our parents aren't taught, our grandparents aren't taught. You know what I mean? Like, it just passed from generation to generation of sickness. And a lot of times we think, oh, well, if my mom or dad has high blood pressure or um diabetes or 
high cholesterol or you know whatever the case may be that uh well we'll probably get it to and a lot of times it's all about what we're putting in our bodies and if we've been putting in our bodies what isn't right from the jump like as a baby all the way up until adulthood we got a lot of healing to do a lot of healing to do but anyway um i'm just glad to be back i'm glad to be back on the scene I posted one of my, uh, cause I didn't do any, I didn't do any videos last week. Like, boo boo, she was out for the count. And this morning I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do one of my set of the days. Like, I gotta do a video. So, this morning, what I had, uh, I washed my body down and my dial spring. Is it dial spring? Is it dial spring? spring water my dial spring water i love that soap like it gets me nice and squeaky clean i feel fresh it's antibacterial i can use it on my lady parts like i have no issues at all boom so i use it from head to toe and then i use my dove cocoa butter and what is it cocoa oh coconut and cocoa butter uh body wash and i don't know why people don't like that I guess because you know everybody different but i enjoyed it so i've almost used the whole entire bottle up and i would repurchase but that's after i get done with all these other body washes because i got a ton of body washes so i'm working on eliminating a lot of body washes a lot of body care i'm not buying nothing unless it's something that i don't have any more of but um i also was thinking matter of fact i didn't put deodorant on today um, I'm thinking about not using deodorant, especially if I'm going to be eating a very clean, like taking out yesterday was my first day of not, well, no, I can't say that it's not my first day of not, but I am starting over. Um, I was doing very well. I did like at least two weeks of, uh, no dairy, no, um, animal products and then I had got a factor box. And when I had got the factor box, I forgot to switch it over from high protein to um, vegan and, well, vegan veggie. And um, they ended up sending me a high protein box and I was trying to cancel it, but they, they gave me a credit. But anyway, I made the decision to eat that box because that was a hundred and some dollars. And I was like, it was 12 meals. I was like, oh, well. Um, so basically all last week, that's what I ate. Besides, if I wasn't eating one of those meals, which was animal product, I did, um, I juiced. I um, ate a lot of raw. So I had a mixture of that because previous two weeks, uh, going on like three weeks, I had started back eating um, no dairy, no, like I just said, I'm always repeat myself. But anyway, so um, I'm glad those meals are gone. I have one more box coming because after this box, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, and I'm not even going to tell you like what all happened with Factor, but I'm not going to do Factor anymore because... <laughs> So crazy stuff happened and it just was like pulling teeth, but I'm not even gonna go there. Um, so this week's box, which is coming today, Monday, um, I had vegan meals and I took out the veggie meals because the veggie meals had dairy products. And I was like, no, I'm not doing dairy or, um, goodness, I'm not doing dairy or animal product, like no animal products at all. Um, so basically no meat, no dairy. So with that being said, when Factor does a uh, vegan slash veggie, they give you four options and two are ve vegan, two are veggies. So the veggie ones do have dairy in it, but the vegan ones don't have any animal products at all. So I just did six and six because I did a 12 pack. Um, so I can't wait to eat one of those today when I get home because the box should be there by the time I get home. But anyway, um, yesterday, 
was the first day of all vegan. Goodness, all plant-based. All, no dairy, no uh, meat. And it was a little bit of a struggle because I felt hungry. I didn't have a lot, a lot of things. Um, available because at this point I need to go grocery shopping again for my produce and I was limited but I made it work because I almost had two hot pockets I almost had two hot pockets the pepperoni and cheese and I was like you know what no girl uh -uh, don't do it to yourself please don't please don't because you're just gonna mess it up so I did great I did not do it um I made this apple beets carrot juice and I brought one with me I made like a hundred and some ounces but i took 96 396 um 332 ounces so i had one yesterday i have one in the fridge right now for me for when i go home and i'm just drinking this um i'm only gonna be at work for five hours so this should be enough for me to sip on throughout my time here and then when i go home i can have a meal <clears throat> and i open the box and all the good stuff when i get home and show you guys what I got. I only got two meals. They only had two available to choose from, which I don't like. Like, if it's going to be, it need to be vegetarian, then it needs to be vegan. Not vegan, vegetarian. So, you got four meals to choose from. And if you're vegan, like, plant-based and that's it, you're going to decline the veggie meals because they have dairy in them. And I'm like, oh, so you only got two choices. So anyway, it is what it is. Um, I'm about to go on it. I've been working because I, I believe it's time for me to go in here. I've been talking to y'all heads off almost 17 minutes and that's okay. But anyway, guys, I'm going to check in, I'm gonna check in with you guys later. I hope you can have a beautiful day on purpose. Whenever you're watching this video, morning, noon, or night. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell comment down below because i love to chit chat with each and every one of you guys make sure that you are share share sharing my videos with any and everyone because why because they free baby they free okay all right y'all i love you guys for watching and if i don't see you in the next clip i'm gonna see you in the next video i love you peace Two days later up to my knees keep loose and sleep doing it's your girl miss natural shay welcome and welcome back baby we in a dark baby we in the dark ah! you know why we in the dark because it's um 2 35 in the morning 2 35 i'm gonna show y'all so y'all hey, can you your mind can't see that but um i'm 2 35 it's 2 35 yeah but anyway um I'm gonna have this up to y'all when I get to where I'm going and then we can talk chit chat for a little bit more. You yeah, know. But yeah, it's time to well I'm in a I'm in a stoplight, so I'm gonna have the light on for a little bit. Anywho, we out here with it. Um it's time to go on and get what? Busy. Busy. You see that? What it say? What it say, baby? Uh uh, what it say, baby? Uh uh. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready to get back in the gym, okay? I haven't been to the gym in like two weeks, okay? Whoo, and it feels good to be going back up in that thing. Uh, uh, uh. I don't took two weeks off of not going to the gym. I'm not doing any workouts. Yeah, it's been about that time, yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to, you know, um, give y'all some motivation, some inspiration, some encouragement to move our body. Let's go. Move our body. Let's go. I ain't playing. I've been on this journey since the end of August of 2023, boo. And it's February 2024. And ain't nobody switching up. No. Yeah, I might switch up a workout. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I'm still a little bit congested and stuff. I was sick all last week, baby. Uh-uh. And today's Wednesday, and it's time to get it in. Let's go. So bittersweet. Huh?
keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat What's left of me? Drowning in my fears just like an ocean Negativity is getting closer How to keep the heat when it gets colder, you know Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker Even when I'm down in the low I remember what you were saying Sometimes all you need is a spark Maybe just a better kind of bitter Y'all know I always gotta do something, okay? Before you leave a video, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna smile, you're gonna something on the good notes, okay? But anyway, y'all, today is, what's today, y'all? Um, today is Wednesday. Happy hump day to y'all. If y'all seen the earlier clips, boo. Well, of course y'all seen it, because if y'all see this video, <laughs> y'all not seen the earliest clips. I made it to the gym after like two weeks. And it felt really good. And I'm going back tomorrow. Okay. I just had to get back in, you know. So I'm glad I'm back. And um, yeah. I'm back, baby. I'm back in the gym. Getting it in. <laughs> oh, man. Now we made it to work. I went to Royal Farms. I had to get me some bananas. I had to get me some bananas. And while I was in there, because first of all, food line don't open up till seven o'clock. Now it is seven o'clock at this point. It's actually seven oh six. I don't start to work till seven thirty. So I'm here. W -w what happened? What happened was, once I got home back from the gym, it was close to five. Yeah, it was close to five o'clock. Um. I went and got me a, took me a nice good shower. Guess what I got on, y'all? If y'all see my uh, short of the day, y'all already know what it is. But if y'all ain't seen the short, go watch the short. I always making shorts about my sin of the day. But anyway, we got the fairy tale boo on. Okay, fairy tale. It ain't called fairy tale, but it was called fairy tale. My bath and body works. Um, I have my YSL library because if you don't have fairy tale and YSL library mixed in, I've been doing this for a couple years now probably maybe going on three i don't know two or three but anyway yeah it's probably going on three at this point mm -hmm. but anyway um got that on i did my sensitive uh skin body butter that i got from bath and body works and um i realized that mixing that with my uh dr shea with dr till's shea almond body oil is not good when i mix it in my hands because the butter and the oil does not go well with when I mix it. It just doesn't. So, what I have to do with that particular body butter is just go ahead and put it on my body or put the oil on my body and then put the butter on my body. Either or. Either or. 
but um then i can mix them both together by themselves uh -uh. no sorry by themselves yes together in my hand no it's a no-go unless now this is what I'm talking about. Now if I get some out the jar and then put it on my hand and mix it together like that first before I put my oil in my hand, it's good. If I already have my oil in my hand, no. If I scoop it out, blop it on my hand, then go ahead and spur some oil, then try to mix it together, no go. It just ain't gonna work out good. You're gonna have big globs of uh, body butter all on the floor because I've done that before. I did it this morning, had it, <laughs> scoop it on up, because baby, I'm using all of it, okay. But anyway, um, it's raining outside. I hope y'all can hear that. It's not too bad, but it's like, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. anywho, um, so yeah, so that's what I got on my body. And I smell so good. And I sprayed it, of course, on my clothes, boo. You gotta do that. I got my little light jacket on today because, baby, it's gonna be 67. Mm -hmm. If I thought yesterday was warm, today is definitely a nice warm day. 67. Um, I'm in very high spirits. I'm gonna talk to you about what I got at Rural Farms and what I'm gonna show you besides the bananas. But, um, my period started today. That's my second period of 2024. Now listen, if y'all don't know, I'm excited. Some vlogs back, back in August, when I first started my workouts, uh, my workouts, basically, when I start, started back working out, because I hadn't worked out in years. But when I got back into fitness, um, the first week, the first, very first week, but I had already been eating really healthy like a lot of fruits and veggies especially fruits i started that back in july so in august my period came on and i'm like oh okay mm, mm. it did not come on for the rest of the year i don't look back in the months because i always put it in my calendar girl i ain't seen no period no more so january january it came it stayed for a few days and left like it was supposed to. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So, it came. I saw a little something yesterday when I wiped, like last night. And I'm like, my period about to come on? Then I laid in the bed and I felt my nipples. I know this is kind of TMI, but then it's not because all women go through different symptoms. I'm not going to say all women have tender breasts. When their period's about to come on. But all women go through some kind of symptom to let them know. Baby about to come on. Like, I don't know about baby, but. <laughs> Aunt Flo, Rachel, um, Mary Beth, somebody. Claudine. She about to come on. So, I don't call her any of those names. I just want to call them out because. <laughs> just to make up some names. And plus, everybody says, well, I do say Aunt Flo, but. Other than all flow, I don't really don't be calling her any other name. Maybe I should have a name for her. I don't know. But anyway, back in that video where my period was on, I ended up talking about PCOS. And I was diagnosed with PCOS very long ago. Um, When I first started my period at 12, my period was irregular. It didn't come on every month. Um, not long after I was 12, uh, well, not long after the period started coming on, I ended up getting straight on birth control and I was on birth control for years, years, well into my thirties. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to do birth control no more. Stop doing birth control. Um, Cause now it's like, I wonder if this, these, uh, uh, cause anything that we take always has all these side effects. And of course it had all these kind of side effects, like heavy bleeding, um, all kinds of stuff. I can't even think, but, and then I would see like these different prescriptions of birth control that go on the TV and say, oh, well, 
if you use this, you might get this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might get this kind of cancer or whatever. What? So, anyway, I finally was like, I'm, I don't need, I don't need to be on birth control. For what? For what? For my period to come on? Yes. But other than that, I didn't need birth control. I wasn't actively trying to have a baby or anything like that. So, I just was like, you know what, girl? Uh-uh. And then I'm worrying about what these things are doing to my body. Like, what these basically foreign foreign things are doing to my body. Because they're not supposed to be in our bodies. I mean, yes, some of us do have to take um, medications for different things. But I just decided, you know, I don't had enough. Like, it is my choice if I want to have a child or not. Um... And I don't think that I should be steady uh, using birth control in the pill form. In the pill form. Because, I mean, condoms is great. But I'm just saying, in the pill form. Um, Because, of course, there's other ways of using uh, uh, birth control. But my way was always using the pill. So, anywho, I'm really opening up to you guys. Because, honey, I wouldn't have ever... <laughs> Back in the day, 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 boo, I want to ever start talking about my issues, you know? But anyway, every time my period comes on, with, like, naturally, with no birth control, because all these years, my period been coming on every month with birth control. The pill form. But when it would come on by itself, I would get, like, a period, one period a year, maybe two. But I'm hoping now... I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But I'm hoping, since this is my second month in a row having a period, I'm hoping that maybe I'll get one every month. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, why would you want your period? Because for a person that doesn't get their period, often, even six months off the year, I just feel like, um... I don't feel like I'm a total woman, which I know I'm a woman. I know that. I was born a female. I'm a woman. You open me up and you'll see the fallopian tubes, uterus, and all that great stuff. The eggs, all that. But I'm just saying. For me, I just didn't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm a lady. Because I didn't have a period. Now, sometimes it was cool not to have a period. I would even skip the last week so I wouldn't have a period of my pills. Yeah, I would do that. I know I ain't the only one. And I ain't gonna be the only one. But, like, I guess maturing and being more, you know, of a woman. Out of the girl, immature, you know living my best life as a young uh, uh, college student, you know, you know, all that 20 some year old, you know, stuff. you know, you, you don't want a period for real. You, oh, why do I have a period? Woo -woo. But it's natural for us to have a period. Obviously, if we're having one, especially if you, I mean, even animals have periods. So it's obviously a natural way for all women to go through and for me not to have a period every month it just took something away from me and I guess the only way you can understand this is if you ain't ever like not if you ain't ever but if you <clears throat> if you have irregular periods that's the only way you're gonna understand but anyway all I want to say is my period came on and when I wiped yesterday, I was like, okay, something's there. I think I should have something coming tomorrow. So I did, a good thing I did. When I went, no, I was about to say I slept with a pad on, but I didn't. I didn't sleep with a pad on because I was like, well, it shouldn't be that bad in the morning. Like, it ain't just going to boop, boop, boop. So I was good though. I didn't have anything in my panties when I woke up this morning because I did wear my panties to bed. And when I woke up, I looked. 
just to see, you know, after I peed and everything, I looked. But then when I wiped, I seen something else. I'm like, okay, okay, uh-huh. Now that I'm going to the gym this morning, I'm going to go ahead and put that pad on that I didn't put on last night. Because if I'm steady wiping and I'm steady seeing something, but it ain't full blown yet, I better go ahead and just for safety, just go on and put it on. Because I was going back and forth with my head. Girl, should you put it on? Shouldn't you put it on? Yes, I'm glad I made that decision. Because when I came back from the gym, took my panties off, looked in my pad, boop, there she was. So it would have been a hot mess all up in my daggone um, uh, panties if I didn't wear it. So I'm so grateful and thankful that I did. I know this is, uh, I want to say this is TMI, but it's really not too much information for real, for real, because most women, most ladies, most young girls that have started their menstrual cycle, they go through this. So I'm, I'm going to try to not to say TMI or think that it's too much information that I'm giving you because this is stuff that we all go through. But I'm going to tell y'all that I'm excited. Um, Every time I see my period, and I know that it, it, it came on the natural way, like I didn't have to take a pill to have a period come on. I love it. So I'm hoping, like for real, for real, I'm hoping that my period continues to come on every month. I really do. Now, if it decides, oh, well, I'm going to do January, February, and then you're going to get another period till, you know, some months later or next year or whatever. Okay, it is what it is. But we're going to see what happens. And every time my period come on, I might tell y'all. But the good thing is, y'all my good sis. Okay, y'all love me. Y'all love me. So it's it's okay to tell y'all, sister. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I got my menstrual cycle this week. Yeah, well this month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all might be sick of me, but I, I just want to see like if I continue to eat healthy, will the periods continue to come? And I'm and I want to say, uh huh. I hope so. So we are gonna see, cause I don't I don't heard about people that um their periods are lighter, their periods you know they they only uh instead of bleeding for twelve, well seven eight days, they only bleed for three to four. Okay, that's cool. I don't have periods that was uh four days, maybe even three days, but usually it's like five to six, maybe even seven, and I'm still okay with that. Cause I don't have like really bad, bad. I had, of course, um, had some really bad cramps where it had me up in a, up in a, a fetal position. But other than that, it ain't been that many times. I can count on one hand how many times I've experienced that. But, um, I usually get a lot of bloating, like a lot of pressure down here in my back area and in my, uh, stomach, lower tummy area, all that great stuff. Yeah. But anyway... So, I got my flushable wipes because I don't play games. I always have my flushable wipes, even if I'm not on my period. Flushable wipes, gang, over here. And I brought some pads. I got plenty more up in here. I just busted out a new uh, a pack. But I'm ready. I'm ready. So, anyway, I didn't mean to talk to you guys for 17 minutes. I'm about to eat. I still have... Oh, it's 721, so I still have a few minutes before before um, it's time for me to go in there. So, I'm just going to eat my good old banana. Um, I do want to make a video later on, down the line. I need to write this down. Because I always be like, oh, I need to make a video. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make a video. And I don't. But as far as my period and all of that, and if eating clean has something to do, which I'm going to find out because I'm going to keep track and see how often or how not often my period comes on. But I'm going to keep a track of it and I'm going to let y'all know if eating clean really did cure 
PCOS or even if it just um, help regulate my period instead of having irregular periods. But anyway, I'm going to tell you later. I got this, which is the avocado toast. It got the uh, guacamole and the little toasties. I never had these, have never had this before. I also, I'm going to eat that for breakfast. I also got for a little snack, the hummus and pretzels. And I got plenty of bananas, plenty of bananas. I like when I go to Royal Farm because their bananas is already ready to eat right then and there. I like that. They cost two for a dollar. But, can't beat a good old ripe banana. When I need it right now. But anyway, y'all. I'm going to finish this up real quick. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. I love you. Make sure you subscribe. Share down below. Like this video. Share, share, share. With any and everyone. Why? Because it's free. I'm going to catch you guys later.